Hey, I'm Andrew with Eckhart Public Library's STEAM program. Uh, today we're at Black Pine Animal Sanctuary in Albion, Indiana. We're going to go talk to Madeline, learn a little bit about what this place does. Let's go on in. Hey there, I'm Andrew. Hi Andrew, I'm Madeline. I'm one of the lead keepers here at Black Pine. Awesome. So what is, what is Black Pine? So Black Pine is an animal sanctuary, so we provide refuge for captive raised exotic animals um, and we give them the best care possible for the rest of their lives. Okay, uh, what is an exotic animal? How do you define exotic? Sure, exotic animals are animals that are found in the wild. Some of the more exotic animals that we have would be the large cats, large carnivores like tigers um, and bears that would live in the wild. You wouldn't really want to find those in your house. Can we go, can we go look yeah. at some of them? Yes, for All sure. right, well, let's go. Let's go this way. Our tigers are over here, if right. they're out. <laughs> and who's this that we see? This is Top Cat. We believe he's a Sumatran tiger. Uh, but we can't know for sure. Do we know where Top Cat came from? Top Cat came from a rescue um, facility similar to Black Pine in its origins. The facility was closed after um, some laws made the insurance and liabilities way too expensive mm -hmm. for the people to take care of them. Um, so they couldn't afford these cats and they reached out and ended up rehoming them here. They eat about 10 pounds a day, each cat does, um, of raw meat. So that is something that people don't think about when trying to take care of these animals. So these are our bears. They're generally sleeping inside in the afternoons, but the ones on the very end might be out. They get fed in the morning, so they'll all go out around and eat. And then once their bellies are full, they'll just lay down and be lazy all afternoon. Um, and then in the evening we come around um, and if they are up and active, we'll give them another snack. <laughs> so what's the difference between an animal sanctuary and something like a zoo? Can people still come here? Yeah, so we do staff guided tours. Um, you can schedule those online, um, but that just helps us monitor who is on the grounds. Um, so that's different than a zoo, but we do that just so that we're making sure the animals are not being taunted in any way because this is their home, this is their refuge, and we want them to be as comfortable um, and relaxed as possible. Another difference between zoos and sanctuaries is uh, zoos will buy, trade, um, breed animals. We don't do that, so okay. we um, are committed to the animal that we get for the rest of their life. We won't use them for any reproductive measures. We won't um, trade them with another sanctuary to get um, a different animal. We'll keep them here on site no matter what. It's pretty cool how you prioritize the animals like that. What are some of the measures that you take to prioritize the animals? So what we do really is put all of the money that we get toward the animals. So any donation we, we receive, um, Whenever somebody comes for a tour, the price of admission, all that money goes directly back to the animals. So whether that's ordering them food, ordering cleaning supplies that we need to take care of them every day, um, or ordering some different toys and enrichment for them to use just to keep them busy and their minds engaged. Um, we do everything we can to make them have the most natural life as possible while in captivity. Cool. So up here we have our female lion. Her name is Africa. She is my favorite big cat. She is so pretty in my opinion. I just almost don't want to say anything. I just want to look at it. Yeah. yeah. So Africa was used as a pay to play cub. So anytime you see a video on Facebook or pictures of someone holding a young exotic animal, that is pay to play, that is animal exploitation. The people breeding those animals and doing that will say that the money is going toward conservation, but really the money is going in their pockets um, and they don't really care about what happens to the animal after it's too old to be used um, in interactions with the public. So Africa was used as a pay-to-play cub um, after an interaction with 
a small child. The child fell on her back, so her back was a little warped. So they took her off of exhibit, essentially, and just kept her around to use her in the future for breeding purposes, to have more cubs to use. Um, so then that facility was shut down and she was rehomed here. And she, after being here, um, recovered miraculously from her broken back that they said that she had. Um, so she made a full recovery, um, is very young, very active, like you would expect a young lion to be. Um, so she plays with all these balls, will roll them down the hills, um, and you would never know by looking at her that she has had problems in the past. What is your favorite thing about this place? I just love Black Pine's mission as a whole. That's what drew me here initially. Um, the fact that we have people willing to take care of these animals and commit to them. Um, and then the animals themselves have kept me here. Um, just getting to know them, seeing them, and appreciating them through their stories and trauma, um, all their past and what they've come through, how far they've come. Um, that's really what keeps me around here. Cool. Awesome. That's good to hear. So we did just have a tiger pass away that came from a really bad situation. And so her first couple of years here, um, she was very aggressive. Um, but the last couple of years, she's been one of the sweetest cats. We'll always come up and say hi. Um, so it's really cool to see the transformation in character and attitude because they are content here. They're finally getting a breath of fresh air and don't have to be scared for their lives. That's great. So it must really feel like you're actually rescuing yes, during those situations. Absolutely does. Yeah. Great. It's very rewarding to see the I'll changes. Bet. So I know we've got a lot of homeschool families in our area. Uh, what can they do to, to come here? Is it, would this be a good e educational opportunity? Yeah, absolutely. We have a toddlers and tots tour every Friday at 10 a.m. Um, that is more geared toward children. It has more information about the animals themselves and less about their backstories. Well, thanks, Madeline, for showing us around uh, here today. Uh, it's been a, a lot of fun, and I'm glad that we can share this with the people that are watching. Yeah, no problem. It's really a great facility we have here, and love to show it to people so that they can see the full experience. See ya.